In this demo, I'll be giving a brief tour of IBM Script Portlet for WebSphere Portal, and I'll be highlighting some of the key features of the latest 1.3 release. Script Portlet is the tool that lets you build portlets using web development skills, libraries, and tools. With Script Portlet, you can use whatever libraries and frameworks you want. All the application code, the HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, is stored in Web Content Manager and the applications can be available on the site toolbar. You can build applications in a couple of different ways. You can build them in the browser using the Script Portlet Editor, or you can build and test applications on your laptop with your preferred tools and then push or import them to the server. The applications you build can include any kind of functionality and you can use Portal's key value add features, things like portlet preferences for application customization and public render parameters for sharing context. So let's go to the demo. Here's my Portal 8.5 site and I have a page where I want to include a script portlet application. I'll add a new script portlet to the page. Drag it onto the page. and I'll click edit to bring up the script portlet editor. Here in the editor you have tabs for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for your application and you've got a preview pane on the right hand side. In this case I'm going to copy some code from JS Fiddle for my application. This one uh, displays a chart so I'll copy the HTML into the HTML tab and the JavaScript into the JavaScript tab. Now I'll click Save. It'll store the application code in WCM and give me a preview of the running application. And I can close the editor and take the page out of edit mode to see the final rendering on my page and as you can see it can be on a page along with other content or applications. Now a couple of the new features in the Script Portlet Editor. The first one I want to show is the Save As support for storing applications in a shared library. With Save As I can specify a site area where I want to store an application. Give it a name. We'll call this Cost Chart. and now it's saved in that shared library and it's now been made available for my page authors or my business users to use it on a page so they can take the application that was created by a web developer bring up the toolbar and go to the script portlet applications area and select the application that was built by my web developer. So I'll drag it onto the page. And there's my pre-built application now on the page. The other new feature I want to show in the editor is the support for adding WCM tags using the insert WCM tag dialog. One of the nice features of Script Portlet is that you can use Wickham tags anywhere in your HTML and JavaScript and that can give ac access to a whole lot of useful functionality. So now in this release I can use the insert WCM tag command which brings up this UI for easily selecting any tag whether it's a component or a plugin or element or logic tag and it also provides help in selecting the values for the different attributes for a tag. When I click OK it'll add the tag to the to my HTML and there it is the property tag and in this case the tag is just used to display the title of the content item that I'm using so here's the, the title cost chart okay now let's go and look at another way of creating applications using my favorite editor for uh, tools on my laptop the first application I'm going to show is one using the AngularJS framework. This is a phone gallery application. 
And as you can see, it's got a main HTML file, index.html, and it includes a number of different JavaScript and other files, images, and so forth. One of the things I can do is to test this application just on its own by loading the index.html in a browser. So here I'll open it in Firefox. And here's the application. It lets me see a list of phones and I can click on any one to see details about a phone and uh, browse through the different pictures. So now to bring this application into script portlet I can just go to the folder where that application is and use the sp push command. What this will do is it will take all the files in that folder and zip them up and push them up as a new script portlet. So now it's been pushed up to the server and let me go back to portal and now use it on a page. Bring up the toolbar and again the script portlet applications area. And now you can see here's my new application available on the toolbar. And you can see it has a custom icon for letting you know what the application is. I'll drag it onto the page. And there you see it running as a script portlet. It has all the same functionality that you saw running standalone. I can do different sorts and searches, bring up the different screens to see the details about any of these phones and so forth. And now if I want to update this application again from my files on my laptop, it's very simple. I can just use the SP push again. So let's make a simple change. Uh, I'll go here where I have the prompt for that search field and I'll just change that to find. And I'll just run the SP push again. And in this case it'll do an update of the script portlet content item that was just created the first time I did the push. So now the application has been updated and to see the changes I can just refresh my browser. And there it is. Now that was a simple change but you can make any kind of change whether it's adding files, removing files, and the entire folder will be pushed up to the server and updated. Now let me point out a couple of configuration files that were used to support that push command. The first one is in the folder where I've installed the command line support on my laptop. And this configuration file has the information about my portal server. So it's got the server URL, it has the user and password I want to use. And by the way, if you don't include the password here, it'll prompt you for it when you do the push. And it has the site area within WCM where I want to store my applications by default. One other configuration file that was used is for this particular application. In the application folder I've specified the content name to use when I push this particular application into WCM. Now one of the nice things you can do with this push support is you can batch push a whole bunch of applications and this can let you do things like store all your application code for a whole set of applications in a source code control system and then with a batch process automatically update the server with all the latest code. Let's just look at a simple example. I've got a number of applications each in their separate folders here and each one has um, an index.html and other files. But now I'm going to push them all to the server in an automated process. I'll just run this script and it'll walk through each of those folders and do a push on each one. I've got several samples here including an Angular Contacts, the phone catalog that we just saw, uh, another contact application using Backbone, and several other samples using different libraries and uh, integrating with different applications. So now all those applications have been pushed up to the server and let's have a look. I'll go to another page and again I'll bring up the toolbar
and look at the script portlet applications. And now you can see all of those applications are available to be dragged onto a page. I'll select the backbone contacts, drop it here, and there's the application running as a script portlet. This one lets me view and update a uh, list of contacts. Okay, and just to point out that uh, in addition to the push support, you can also bring applications from your laptop using the import command. In this case, it will let you upload a zip file that has uh, an application with any number of files in it. Okay, the last thing I want to show is a couple of the samples that are available with the 1.3 release. In each release, we publish samples that illustrate key techniques. Here's one for the new release that has an Angular sample with a number of different screens. So you can see how a framework like Angular can be used with Script Portlet. Another new sample, this one illustrates how you can bring in uh, media files such as video or other binary file types into a Script Portlet. Okay, that was a quick look at Script Portlet, the 1.3 release. For more information, you can visit the Digital Experience Developer site, and there you can find links to the download of Script Portlet, uh, to the samples, a bunch of articles, the documentation, video, and uh, other resources. Okay, thanks for watching.